The parents of more than 30 deaf children are campaigning to protect the future of what they say is an amazing school. Frank Barnes School in Camden is one of the only places in the country where teachers, which teaches sign language and English to the deaf. But it faces the threat of closure to make way for a new London academy. Sangeeta Kandola reports. Frank Barnes School is one of a kind in London, priding itself by offering deaf children a specialised signed bilingual education. The school, though, faces a big move soon. It's relocating somewhere else to make way for a new London academy. Where it's going to and what the education on offer will be is something that worries parents. Paula Garfield is one of them. She's deaf, as is her daughter Molly, who's a student here. When my daughter was born deaf, I knew what would be the best school for her to meet her needs, to meet her first language, which was sign language, and Frank Barnes School can provide that. About 30 children from across 16 London boroughs attend this school, and they're taught in their first language, British Sign Language. They're then taught English as a second language. Now, teachers and parents say this is very unique because it teaches them positive deaf identities. Two options have been offered as alternative homes for Frank Barnes School for the deaf. One is a merger with another school, the other a new school unit in London. But members of the parents' action group say the education of the kids will be at risk. We have children coming in from, I think it's around 16 boroughs across London. So we understand that we're not just about children in Camden, we're about children across London. But we want to see the investment uh, put into creating that regional centre so they can serve all the children in London. The one thing that we don't want to do is just say, OK, we'll move, whilst we're not quite certain about what that move, move entails for our children. Well, Camden Council say they need the space. No final decision has yet been made on the new home for the school, as they are still trying to identify suitable future possibilities. Singita Candola, London Today, Camden.